This video is sponsored by OWC. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Apple today introduced a new iPad Pro with a faster A12 Z Bionic chip, a new Magic Keyboard accessory with a built-in trackpad, an ultra-wide camera, a LiDAR scanner, and more. So yes, if you know me right now, you know this is almost everything I wanted on a iPad Pro. Well, not so much the cameras and the scanners. I mean, those are cool, I guess, but what I really wanted was legitimate cursor support, and Apple has officially released this feature in the next version of iPad OS and built an entirely new Magic Keyboard for the iPad Pro that looks incredible. First, let's start with the new iPad Pro itself. The updated iPad Pro has a new camera system that features a 12 megapixel wide camera and a 10 megapixel ultra wide camera, which can zoom out two times to capture a wider field of view. This brings the iPad Pro in line with the new iPhone 11 featuring a dual camera system and a square shaped camera bump. There is a new A12Z Bionic chip which supports an 8 core GPU and Apple claims this new iPad Pro is faster and more powerful than most Windows PC laptops. Apple has stated that these new iPad Pros can also edit 4K video, which is also very true with the older 2018 models as I have personally edited 4K video on that machine with no problem at all. And you can also design 3D models thanks to this new internal update. And there's 10 hours of battery life and faster Wi-Fi and LTE performance than the previous generation. The new LiDAR scanner measures the distance to surrounding objects up to five meters away and enables advanced experiences with augmented reality on the iPad Pro. Apple also says this means that AR kit apps on the new iPad Pro will get improved motion capture and people occlusion leading to AR experiences never before possible. And last, but certainly not least, let's talk about the new Magic Keyboard. This is what I personally am really excited about until I found out that it won't be available until May, which is a bit of a bummer, but that doesn't change my excitement level about the product. As I said before, official trackpad support is coming to iPadOS 13.4 on March 24th. So if you have an external mouse, you'll be able to take advantage of this feature. It just won't be built into your keyboard. We've seen trackpad support as an accessibility feature before, which made a lot of consumers like myself really want official support. And Apple has once again listened to its customers and created this new Magic Keyboard with a built-in trackpad that they claim should help users be able to enhance their workflows in multiple ways, like scrolling through web pages in Safari, browsing photo libraries in Photos, precisely editing text in Notes, organizing mail, and more. Most third-party apps will work with the trackpad as well without any update required. The keyboard features a new floating design that should hopefully work a lot better on your lap this time around. Not sure if you've ever tried to use the latest iPad Pro and the smart keyboard case combination on your lap, but it's not great. The Magic Keyboard features cantilever hinges for smooth adjustments of the viewing angle up to 130 degrees. There's a full-size keyboard that finally features backlit keys and the keys themselves are a scissor mechanism that delivers one millimeter travel, which is great because there's basically no travel at all on the last keyboard, and I kind of just felt like I was typing on mush. It's not fun, and I was not a fan. There's also a USB-C charging port on the keyboard's hinge that also supports pass-through charging of the iPad, leaving the iPad's own USB-C port available for accessories. The new iPad Pro is available to order right now on Apple.com and starts at $799 for the 11 inch and $999 for the 12.9 inch model. The new Magic Keyboard for iPad Pro will be available sometime in May and comes in at a whopping $299 for the 11 inch and $349 for the 12.9 inch. But good news for those who don't want to upgrade from their 2018 iPad Pros, this new keyboard will work with that iPad, so you don't have to buy the new iPad in order to get the new Magic Keyboard feature. So something to keep in mind if you wanna save some money. Apple also released two Macs today, a new MacBook Air and a new Mac Mini. We'll start with the Mac Mini since that's kind of the least significant upgrade of the two. The new Mac Mini now comes with double the storage capacity on the standard configurations. So $799 gets you 256 gigs of storage and $1,100 gets you 512 gigs. And that's it. Everything else is unchanged from the previous model. The MacBook Air, on the other hand, received a much bigger upgrade, including a $100 price cut. 
You get double the storage just like the Mac Mini, giving the $999 base model 256 gigs of SSD storage instead of 128 gigabytes. And there are also Intel's latest 10th generation processors, including the ability to upgrade to a 1.2 gigahertz quad core i7 with turbo boost up to 3.8 gigahertz. The biggest change comes with the new keyboard. First introduced on the 16 inch MacBook Pro, the new MacBook Air features a magic keyboard with a redesigned scissor mechanism that delivers one millimeter of key travel, plus a new inverted T arrangement for the arrow keys. Most importantly, this keyboard should prove to be far more reliable than the problematic butterfly keyboard on the previous MacBook Air. Now we ordered both the new MacBook Air and iPad Pro, and we'll have coverage on both of those devices when they arrive. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos. And of course, I would love to know all of your thoughts on the new products that Apple released today in the comment section down below. Also, before we end today's video, I want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC offers a wide range of products for your Mac, like internal hard drives and SSDs, memory, Thunderbolt 3 docks, and even a storage dock combination like this new Mercury Elite Pro Dock that features up to 28 terabytes of data storage capacity, a built-in SD card reader on the front, which I absolutely love, and then more ports on the back like dual USB Type-A ports and USB-C Thunderbolt 3 ports, a display port, and more. The Mercury Elite supports standard 2.5 or 3.5 inch SSD or regular hard drive solutions with a plethora of RAID options that best fits your workflow. This is the perfect all-in-one storage and connectivity solution for you Mac owners out there who are looking to add to their docked workstation. So for more information about this product or if you want to see what else OWC has to offer, click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.